All right, everybody, big, big 3-0 victory. I'm here with some new friends. I've got Joe and I've got Kevin. Guys, where are you from? Tell us a little bit about yourselves. Kevin Schubertowski from Columbus, Ohio. Been a fan since day one. I'm here to support the crew. I'm here to save the crew. I'm here to celebrate a 3-0 victory tonight. Mr. Joe, that's it. Can you can you top that? I cannot. I mean, I've born and raised in Columbus. Love the crew. Been coming since they started. Got to love the stadium that we built here, the first stadium for the MLS. So I always appreciate that. It's a big win for us tonight. Definitely rich history, guys. Second consecutive clean sheet for Zach Steffen. Actually third if you want to go back to the Seattle game. How out of his mind is he playing right now? You can't you can't best that. I mean, a shutout's a shutout. How can you how, you what else what better can you do, I guess, really? Uh, we've seen a couple posts tonight, but they're always on our side here on the home stadium. So, we're on uh, the old great home stretch. Won a couple games here at home. Happy to see crew fans out here supporting the team tonight. Love it. Hope everyone keeps coming out and supporting the crew. I mean, guys, we're looking behind us. It's a dance party right now. People are having a good time. Singing Toto's Africa, much like they were on Wednesday night. It's exciting. Giassi Zardas is down here celebrating with Nordak. I mean, how great is that guy playing? At the start of the year, everybody was like, oh, my God, we got Giassi Zardas. Now it's like, oh, my God, we got Giassi Zardas. You can't ask for more, really. I mean, it... You're going to ask for seven goals later. He's here. He's happy to be a part of the program. He's happy to be a part of the team. He's happy to just keep Columbus crew in Columbus. Definitely, definitely happy. Guys, Pipa hit a penalty kick in the south stands, too. That, Or I guess, yeah, that would be south stands. That never happens. Never does. Yeah. He's always here. He's always in front of the Nordeka, but tonight he pulled one away in front of the old South fans, and we we love every single crew member that comes in here. So, guys, New England next week. No Kai Kamara, obviously, because he's in Vancouver. But we had a tough game against New England last time here at Mafre. What are you guys thinking on the road? I'm thinking if we come out, uh, we bring Will Trot back on the field. He's a little bit tired. He's had his uh, couple couple games in a row, but I'm thinking we come out with the same mindset. The same, uh, same aggressiveness. Come out. You're gonna score some goals. You're gonna defend. You got Zach Steffen in the goal, and we're gonna win the game. What about you, Joe? They can't fill up Gillette Stadium like they do here at uh, Mafrey Stadium. So I know that. So it'll definitely be a big. It's we're gonna have the advantage. We're used to have playing in front of home. There'll be an empty stadium in front of them. They're not the Patriots. Don't worry about that. Shots fired there, New England. But guys, uh, any big predictions? I give you guys the floor. Any shout outs you want to give? I'm going to give a shout to my mother on Mother's Day. Happy Mother's to everyone out there. Everyone have a great Sunday. Uh, give your kiss or give your mother a kiss and uh, happy Mother's Day. What about you, Joe? Joanne, happy Mother's Day. But also, I can't wait to see the crew still in Columbus here next year. Gentlemen, I have a familiar guest. What week were you on? I forget. Uh, two. It was, it was, it was cold. I just remember that. The wind was whipping. I, I think I had a hat on or something like that. But remember every remind everybody your first name again for. Me. I'm Adam. Adam. Adam and then your brother was Ben? Luke actually. Luke. Yeah. Okay, there was a Ben I met last week. That's right. And who are these two lovely ladies we have here? I'm Caitlin. Caitlin? And I'm Grace. Caitlin, Grace, let me ask you guys something. What did you guys think of the game today? It, um it was, it was exciting. Yeah. Exciting? What would you yes. like about it? Um yeah. Justin Zardes was a beast. How on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the best. How how beastly is Giassi Zardes? 20. <laughs> They're coming for my job, ladies and gentlemen. Holy mackerel, 20. Okay, so then let me see if I can let me see if I can figure this out then. If Giassi Zardes was a 20, is Zach Steffen like a 50? Probably, yeah. Yes. Probably. <laughs> I think we got the conversion down. Yeah. No, I'll turn it over to you, Dad. Now, so a big game, third clean sheet in a row for Crew SC going back to last week. If I told you that was going to happen at three games in eight days, what would you have told me? We went through a rough stretch. Uh, I would, we actually, our first away game was ever, was uh, in Chicago. Uh, so How long ago was that? Just a few, uh, earlier oh, this season. Oh, it was, yeah, it was the our, whole family. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so, one nil victory. We, we gave up that goal early, and it was you know hard to fight back. Um, but tonight, just owning play, and uh, man, just... So good. Looking a little better than a couple weeks ago when we last talked. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, compared to then, um, 
the the confidence that everybody's playing with, the clean sheets, it, even you know the nil nil draw. Um, it, it, you could see the defense playing together, and it just it, it's building confidence, and the system you can just see it. Ladies, I'm going to turn my next question back to you here, okay? Because Dad's talked enough. It's fine. You guys are the real stars of the show here. What do the crew mean to you? Everything. They're my life, my potential. I come, like, I come on special occasion a lot of the time, but it is a lot to me. Too. You say special occasion. What are, what are we talking about here? Just, it's every so often. Okay. It's not like... So every, it really means something to you. Yeah, to come and just have fun with the game. Dad, you see the smiles on their face here. Now, what's that mean to you to see them having such a great time at the stadium? Oh, I love it. So, uh, Central Ohio League, we had our girls play on the field before the game. And as a club, we had U9 to U15, probably. And it, just to see all the girls and all the happiness. And then we sat and watched the game uh, as a club. And it was amazing. It was all the girls were happy. Um, I got to teach a lot of the girls some of the uh, Nordic chants. So it, it, the clean cleaned up, right? Clean ones, the clean ones. <laughs> I thought I heard a few clean ones there. <laughs> um, but because you know, they were trying to chant along, so to to be able to share that with them, and they were getting into it and feeding off it. It was it was fun. It, there were a lot of smiles on the girls' faces. Um, you know, get three goals tonight, get a victory. It was it, it was perfect. I see a smile on your face as you're describing this too. You know, so that's. That's really what it's about, guys, is this family atmosphere that we cultivate here at Crew SC. Now, ladies, do you guys think you're going to be in the Nordex someday, waving the flags around, cheering just like Dad here? Are you going to carry the tradition on? Yes, but maybe not in Nordex. I'll spread it all through the stadium, to the whole stadium cheer, and it really sound magical. Respect the ambition. Yes. Look at that. Holy mackerel. That's our goal, right? That's... Just like in Europe, how about that? Ladies, this is the part of the show where I turn the floor over to you. So if you guys got a classmate, somebody you want to put on blast right now, if you guys want to put the New England Revolution on blast right now. Oh, uh-oh. What do you guys want to say? Happy Mother's Day to all the moms. Guys, I, 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 I'm I, going to go aw real quick because that was just adorable, guys. I, Ladies. Thank you very much. Can I get a high five? We'll go high fives. High fives. Dad will go for the handshake.